Hey, good morning, good morning. There goes my plane that flies over. Uh, doing flying lessons, I'm assuming. I'm, that's all I can figure out. Because they fly over the same area over and over. But somebody's learning something, and that's a good thing. So, my name's Jimmy. You're watching Primer at his best. Uh, it's a beautiful day the Lord has made. I am so happy to be alive. I've told the Lord several times just this morning how glad I am just to be alive and be able to do things for myself. If you've had parents or grandparents that you've had to help, uh, you know, assist them in going to the bathroom or, you know, feeding or go putting them to bed or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. You appreciate, or I do, I appreciate that I can do things for myself and my wife can too. So that it truly is a blessing. Every morning is a blessing to wake up to a new day the Lord has made. Be able to get up out of bed, make up the bed, pray, and start your day off right. I've got this 1984 Chevy C10 truck out here. It goes by the name of Left Turn Bill. And I'm going to put Penetrol on it today. I cleaned it up the best I could, you know, wiping the paint and all that other stuff off. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I have to, uh, got my broom and all that stuff. I'm going to take my spare tire out and clean up this bed a little bit on the inside. I didn't get around to that yesterday. The, it just, the day just got gone. And uh, I'm going to do that and then, uh, you know, blow it out real good. Make sure there's no dust. And, uh. We'll get started putting penetrol on. And uh, if you're new to the channel, just real quick, it's a 354 speed truck. And I just pulled it around here. And it's got grass all over it. The ground is still damp. I live in East Tennessee, and man, is it good to be alive. It's not raining. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Here's the insides. It's a 354 speed in the floor, and the old truck runs pretty good. If I do say so myself, I have to thank my friends GM1038 on YouTube. His name is Brian. Him and his dad shoved the motor and transmission in here. It was a six cylinder three speed on the column. I'm acting like y'all's new to the channel and not just like coming in on the middle of a movie or something trying to figure out well, what is this guy Jimmy talking about. It was sold at auction, and it was a three six cylinder three speed. Now it's a three fifty four speed. In a nutshell, so uh, I'm going to be putting penetrol on this truck, and uh, I, I I really do like this old this old truck. So uh, let me get started. I'm going to take a spare tire out, and I'm just trust me. I'm going to be using a broom, and and uh, of course the leaf blower and stuff. Blow all this stuff out, and then get it to get it out of the way and uh then we'll get started putting penetrol on my wife mrs pib has went to go pick up grandchildren to take them to their sporting practices football basketball i mean it's something year round i mean even though the season's over it's practice 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 look at that squirrel Going on the line there. I suspect, according to the utility company, that that's snakes and squirrels and stuff is what makes our power go out a lot around here. And it does quite often. So let me get busy. Talking's not getting nothing done, is it? I'll see y'all in just a bit. Hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, I've got the truck swept out in the back swept it out cleaned it up the best i want to with got a rag and all that stuff just wiped everything clean i like this look if you're new to the channel i'm into patina style i made all these imperfections here i painted the whole truck rattle can painting and uh you know i i sprayed brown through here you know places you know places that are more apt to get uh, stressed uh, as far as paint goes. Sprayed brown when I seen brown, I pretty much stopped. This is the original color of the truck, uh, sand colored. Uh, so I painted the whole truck sand colored, and it to me it was just too much of that one color. So I two toned it, white, 
uh, top and bottom and put this trim on it does not belong on this truck but I think it looks so much better two-toned it was just too much sand colored it's a custom deluxe it's a cheap old model so I'm just repeating myself I know to my longtime subscribers but I'm trying to get you caught up on the, the movie you know you know what I said a while ago I'm you know so you're not left out in the dark or what's this guy doing okay I've cleaned this up blew it out with the leaf blower uh, cleaned up all the mess in the driveway and uh, got my knee pad here and uh, so when I do the top I'm going to do the hard part first to me the you know the top the sun today is not your friend I know I say that a lot I love the sun I love being out here this time of year I'll take this over it's supposed to be in the mid 90s today but I, I'll take this anytime over winter time but my, the sun will make Penetrol, this is Penetrol. Run, when I say run, when you hear me say runs, I'm looking for runs, I'm looking for drips. So even after you put it on with, uh, here it is. Hang on a second. I've got two sponges already cut and ready to go. I'll get these car wash sponges. Sorry guys, I, I, I need another cup of coffee, I think. I get these car wash sponges like this at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar and a Half, Two Dollar Store, whatever it is this week. And I get some scissors. I forgot my scissors. I cut it into, I just cut it. And uh, this is what my wife and I save these little things. It's just my wife and myself. And so a lot of times if we don't want to do a lot of cooking or whatever, whatever, and uh, so we'll get like spaghetti or something at the grocery store, whatever was in here. I saved these little plastic containers because they're great to hold penetrol in. They're light, they're thick, they're not going to, I mean, they're, they're just got the right amount of strength to, uh, you know, you can put some in here, uh, penetrol. And it's, it's kind of, uh, I'll get this out of the way. Uh, it kind of smells, has a little bit of an odor to it, just a little, very slight. I mean, you have to be really, if I hadn't have told you, you probably never would have smelled it, but insects seem to smell it. And <laughs> you'll probably see a couple of two or three little gnats or something before I get done with this truck, putting penetrol on it and, uh, you know, stuck to it. And when the penetrol dries and I normally let them set 24 to 48 hours, in a garage I don't move them I just I'm going to drive it back to the backyard lock it back up and in a day or two I'll get it back out and uh you know get off all the insects or whatever's on the truck and uh you know it'll be good I'm protecting this truck it's like a clear coat I've done this before I've already had penetrol on this truck before you can kind of see a little bit of the shine but it's starting to kind of fade I'm just I got two more trucks coming, uh, the 84 C10 truck. It's at Tim Dixon's at Gas X Chop Shop. Moon Pie, he's doing a little metal work to it when he gets an opportunity. And uh, Angie Dixon is doing redoing the seat in it. And then my 1980 uh, C10 truck is at GM Tim 38s on YouTube. Please subscribe to his channel and subscribe to my buddy Built on a Budget. Built on a Budget. That man is amazing. I really enjoy his videos, my wife and I do, and we get so tickled hearing him talk about things. I mean, he's just a real, he's a down-to-earth guy, and that's the kind of folks I like to be around, down-to-earth, honest folks. And he tells you the good and the bad of anything that he's doing, just like I do. If I mess up, I'm going to tell you, guys, I messed up, don't do this if you decide to do this on your own. And with that being said, do this at your own risk. This, uh is a uh, combustible so if you smoke or around a campfire or you decide you're going to burn something in the yard you might want to get your vehicle away from it if you're going to do this or wait till another day okay it's it's flammable and uh, this costs about when i got this can is probably it was probably ten dollars a can it's probably 12 15 now i'm guessing i don't really know uh, hadn't bought none lately, but, uh, you know, it's probably, everything's going up except wages, of course. Everything's going up. I'm on fixed income. So, uh, yep. Uh, don't be smoking around it and do this stuff at your own risk, guys. I'm not recommending it or, or whatever. If you do it, you do it at your own risk. How long will it last? I have no idea. 
I mean, this has been on here probably three years, but uh, I keep my trucks in the garage. I don't drive them in the rain. I don't drive them in the winter. I don't get them out in salt. I don't. No, I don't. You know, it's just a, uh, it's just a summertime toy, spring, fall, whatever toy that I enjoy playing with, and uh, you know, it keeps me out of trouble. I'm here at home. I'm not spending money other than for stuff like this. And I enjoy doing it. So if you enjoy doing it, it's not work. It's I call it playing. I'm playing with this truck. Today I'm playing with this one. Just like an old Hot Wheel or Matchbox car or whatever. I'm playing with it. So let's get busy. Get started. I got my step ladder out because I'm going to start here. Where's my finger? On the top of this roof. I'm going to start putting some penetral on and... Uh, We'll go from there. Oh, first, dadgum, I knew I set that tape there for some reason. I want to tape the top of this stuff here, and uh, we'll get, I'll get back with you in a minute. I forgot about that, and me looking right at it. Hang in there, guys, okay? Okay, guys, I've got, all I want to tape up, I, I'm going to be real careful with the penetral. I mean, you can get penetral on stuff like this, actually and to make it shine but uh i'm gonna try not to do that if i can but i mean i have before it's no it's no big deal you can even put it on the rubber as well and it will uh, make it shiny but i'm gonna try not to do that and speaking of rubber speaking of rubber well let me start off by saying i've already got my penetral in here it's kind of a watery you know looking you would think it was water it's it's kind of clear it's maybe got a little tannish brownish tint to it i guess hard to tell in this black container and i need to get this stuff out of the way i'll do that in a second uh if you if you go if you do like i'm doing and you're gonna do the top first if you're sponge that, that's what i'm using you can use a paintbrush do whatever you want to do i'm just showing you what i do on this channel on my trucks if you get a sponge and you touch this rubber, it's probably going to have a black streak. So when you continue putting the penetral on, it's going to have a black streak. So I'm trying not to touch the rubber. I'm going to be extra careful. But in case I do, I have a second sponge in my pocket along with about four paper towels too. So I'm going to do my best. I'm just, I'm trying to hurry. Like I said, the sun will be up here and just before you know it and... I'd like to get the, at least the tops, you know, the hood, the top, you know, maybe the bed inside done. And, you know, the sides, you know, I'm trying to do the hard part first, what I'm trying to say. There's me another paper towel. Uh, let me move this stuff out of the way. And uh, like I said, uh, do this at your own risk. And I will say this too. I have an old cheap glove on. Cheap. Very, very cheap. Probably got a hundred for a dollar or two whatever they're probably going to tear but i'm i'm wearing this glove so i don't get penetral on my phone so you know i've got several in my got a little box over here full of gloves and paper towels and this that and other just in case i need them but i don't want to get penetral on my phone it will eventually dry and come off but i don't really want to have to deal with it so uh I'm going to get started, guys, and uh, like I said, do this at your own risk. I'll, I'd like to show you what I'm doing, and I'll try to when I get down on, on one of these areas. Right now, I want to do the top, and I'll show you what it looks like here, guys, in just a minute, and uh, I'm going to get busy. Hang in there with me, okay, guys? I hope you're enjoying the video. Okay, guys, can you tell the difference? The uh, Done this half of the hood. i got to do this half. Maybe you can tell the difference. I don't know if you can or not, but but I sure can. And uh, got the top done. Looks pretty good. Got all the white done. I went down through here while I was in there and uh, done this, this section and this top. So, I uh, want to give my wife a big shout out, Mrs. P.I.B. She come home with one of the grandkids, and uh, now they went to go pick up the other one. 
Maybe you can see it right there pretty good. Anyway, I was having a heck of a time getting this stuff to stay on. It, it was just, it just didn't want to lay down. And I kept going over it, going over it. My my wife uh, said, uh, what did you, uh, what have you done different? Have you changed sponges? I said, no, it's the same sponge I had when I done the 66. You know, I already had the pieces cut. I just saved them for this. Uh, so, you know, they're sitting over there. So I said, that's not it. She said, is it a different uh, can of Penetrol? And I said, no, same can. So she said, well, what'd you clean the truck with? Because uh, I cleaned the truck. It was almost too late to wash. So I cleaned it with uh, this. Quick detail, you know, just, I was just getting the dust off of it, basically. The truck was relatively clean. And I was just getting the dust off of it. So my wife uh, went in the house and got some paper towels and we wiped down, I wiped off what I had because it wouldn't lay down anyway. And uh, we wiped the truck down with alcohol and paper towels, rubbing alcohol. And it, it, it looks great. It looks great. So a big shout out to her. Like I said, I'll tell you things I do wrong and things that happen to be right. So if you're going to, do your car or truck or whatever, motorcycle, I don't know, whatever, whatever you have. Uh, don't use this, you know, if you're fixing the next day to put Penetrol on because it won't lay down very well. So, I just wanted to show you this because this is the one time it'll be like this. Maybe you can see, I don't know. Anyway, it's real shiny over here. Okay, guys, i got to get busy. The sun's going to catch up to me in just a little bit. i got to hurry. Hang in there, okay? Okay, guys, this is taking longer than what I thought. Uh, thought I'd back the truck up. I'm, I still got to do the inside of the bed. I had a change of plans. I'm, I'm going to do that last. I'm trying to get all this done. But as you see, my shade is really inching up here quick now. And uh, I'm trying to get all this stuff done. I've got, I've got the... Sides done, I see a spot I missed. But I've been looking for runs. Everything's tacky and pretty much staying still. I still got to do uh, this down through here and this. And I see a spot I missed there too. So it'll be okay. Got the fender, top of the fender anyway. As you can see, it looks like a, it looks good. Looks real good. Still got to get this down in here. Still got to do door jams. There's a lot to do when you start on a doing this kind of stuff, especially if you've run into problems, which I did today. Still got to do all this on this side, and I've got I've got from here over, and you know I got the whole I got this whole bedside done. Now you might see a streak or two. It's not going to be perfect. It's it's not. It's just a cheap way to put, make your car or truck look like look like it's got clear coat on it. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to had to move my mirrors. To, now they're out of adjustment. And I realized that when I was backing up. But uh, I'm just going as fast as I can. But it, it, it looks it looks really good. I like it. And you know what? Even if I do mess up, even if something, you know, in a couple of years, whatever. I'll have to do it again. It's no big deal. I mean, what did I say? I've done this like three years ago or whatever. And, you know, it will eventually wear off. Even sitting in the garage, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, different things. When you wash it and stuff, I mean, it will eventually wear off. So, anyway, just thought I'd show you what I got done. I'm not showing you very much, unfortunately, because uh, I'm in a hurry. I've got to get this done. I'm using a sponge. I'm using that little container, and I'm just putting it on I'm, I'm making as long streaks as i can possibly make them to make it all uniform so let me get busy guys i just thought i'd show you once again a big old shout out to my wife for helping me solve the problem on this hood it looks like glass i'm really proud of her and proud to have her as my wife and my sponsor to this channel primer is best <laughs> i'll see y'all in a little bit i'm gonna i gotta hurry hang in there okay 
Okay, guys, this is what I've got done. I'm, I'm sorry I haven't shown y'all, but I have lots of videos on this where I'm showing you. All I'm doing is dunking a sponge with Penetrol and going over the truck, making as long a strokes as I can, trying to keep it the contour of the truck. I mean, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's not perfect when you look at it, so... And I'm not done, but uh, just thought I'd show you uh, what has happened since last I showed you. Man, that hood looks great. It looks great. So I had about this much in the container left of the flood of Penetrol. And I had to open up another container, and I've used just a little. A little bit goes a long way, and I've been constantly looking for runs, you know, drips. Remember I said, if I say runs, I'm talking about drips. And I found a few, and I've been trying to fix them. You know, it's not perfect. I've done the inside of the bed. It's still drying. I just got done. And, you know, y'all's going to be saying, well, that, that looks terrible. Well, remember, I'm into patina style. I, I'm not afraid to, to, right now, to throw stuff in the bed of this truck. All I'm doing is protecting it. I've painted, I've rattle can painted this whole truck, like I said. And, I mean, I can't hurt it anymore. All I'm doing is helping it to stay alive another year or two. You know what I mean? So, before somebody starts griping about, well, you didn't do this right, you didn't do that right, well... I'm doing things on a budget here that I can afford to do and still buy food and pay my bills. So I'm like everybody else, guys. And this truck's not going to Meekum Auctions or Barrett Jackson. It's just staying here unless somebody one of these days wants it. One of these days, anyway, they can look back on the videos and see what I've done. I see some streaks, you know, that I, I can't get them out, you know, but it's just part of it. But like I said, uh, you know, two or three years, you know, it'll be ready for another, another, uh, you know, if you want to do it again, put more penetrol on it, you know, it's no, it's no big deal. And, uh, it just makes it look, it looks like it's got some life, you know what I mean? It looks good. All these places, man, they look great. Looks great. I, I just, either you like this kind of stuff or you don't. Still got to do the tailgate. Like I said, I'm just kind of letting this dry for just a minute. I've done all up in here, down in here, blah, 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 around in there. And I'm letting it dry for just a moment. And uh, I'm going to get me a drink of water. I haven't had anything to drink in hours. And, uh, boy, I'm glad I moved my truck because you can see the sun has already caught up. But I think I'm going to get done, Lord willing, before, you know, it gets any further up through here. And like I said, it's not it's not perfect. It's just an old cheap for 10 or $12, and you can probably do two or three vehicles, you know, as long as you got an old container you can throw away and a, and a sponge or paintbrush, whatever you want to use. Or you don't have to do it at all. Let me say that. You don't have to do anything I do. And I'm going to tell you, I think I've answered everything about Penetrol that I possibly know. But if you have any questions, I will try to answer them. To the best of my ability, if you'll, you know, subscribe, leave me a comment, I would be grateful. And, uh, yeah, just let me know, you know, if you have a question, something I haven't already answered. If you're going to ask me questions like, uh, how long does this last? I already said that in the video, which tells me that you did not watch the video. You know, I have people do that to me sometimes, you know, and I got to answer the same thing that I just said in the video. But it looks pretty good. I mean, you know, for for what it is, just an old, just an old truck, just an old truck that was headed for at the auction, and I don't think anybody in their right mind would have fixed it. If if I can remember, I'll try to show you a few pictures at the end of this video of what this truck looked like when I first got it. A few, and uh, you can just you can see how far it's come. Does is it perfect? Oh no, it's not perfect. But this old truck runs good, and it's great. Hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, I think I'm as done as I'm going to get on it. I'm tired. I'm <laughs> uh, not spry like I used to be. But the truck looks good. My my grand 
sons was over here in Mrs. P.I.B. Just left with them, take them to basketball practice now. Whew. They have a lot more energy than what I do. But I got everything done on it that I had intended on doing. It took me a lot longer than what I thought, but that's just part of it. Uh, the old truck looks got a good shine to it. I'm trying to stand in the so you can see it uh, all angles. Got a real good shine. I think with those uh, American race wheels that we have for it. I think it's really going to look pretty good. But I like these wheels too. These truck rallies, they look good on here, don't they? I'll show you what I got done on the old truck. Uh, finally got the tailgate done. I think that's where I kind of left y'all at last time. Uh, let's see. Yep. Got the tailgate done. The bed is done. It's shiny. You know, I've done, I done the whole thing. I know it don't look like anything has changed, but it's shiny and it's got a, pr a protection on it now. This old truck's come a long, long way, guys. A long, long way. Uh, got the door jams. Of course, I got my glue traps. Got my door jams done. You know, doors and all that with the penetrol. I've just been letting it sit here drying and... Uh, you know, just letting it sit here. I guess I could move it out in the sun and let the rest of it kind of dry out in the sun a little bit, I guess, couldn't I? I guess so. Looks pretty good. Pretty good, I think. So I'll let it sit out here in the sun at least till my at least till my wife gets back. And uh let the sun do its thing it'll just help it man it's got a good good shine on that hood I forgot I gotta adjust my mirrors about that I'll fix them later I'll let it sit here and run for just a minute and charge the battery up all I've been doing with this truck is moving it back and forth looks pretty good out in the sun I mean I, I, I'm impressed with it for a cheap, for a real cheap, clear coat kind of look. For those new to the channel, it's it's a 350. I'm making this hood dry with a four speed. Old truck runs good. It really does. Got that uh got rust in the window there. Remember that commercial uh, got milk? <laughs> At the time when I got this truck, uh, you know there was rust everywhere. The panels were cam manure. They got up in there, and Brian said it was all kinds up in there, and that's what rusted it out. The frame's great. It, it was just the you know the cab corners and this panel here. This is the pulling wheel, you know, it's, it's not, it pulls from this wheel. Anyway, I reckon it just slung a cow manure. Mr. and Mrs. Left Turn Bill would, I remember I told you they had a big cattle farm, millionaires, well, they just, you know, get out in the field and feed cows or whatever need to be done. This old truck's worked all its life and, uh, I'm just one of those kind of guys, you know, I, I just feel, I just feel sorry for an old truck. I don't know. Seems like you get them and, or at least back in the day, people would get them just working to death till they fell over, you know, or just croaked out. And 
like I said, I honestly think nobody would have got it to this shape had it, you know, had I not got it. And with the help of my friends, Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop. Remember, he's on Facebook. If you type in Gas X Chop Shop, X is spelled A-X-E. And my buddy, uh, GM Tim 38. Now, his name is Brian. So, check out his YouTube channel, GM Tim 38. Him and his dad, Charlie, shoved that rebuilt the 350 that I purchased from a good friend of mine freshen it up you know and put a cam and all that stuff in it and uh old truck runs good runs real good I'm, I'm so proud of this old truck and uh don't forget to check out my other one uh built on a budget built on a budget I think you will enjoy his channel too he uh he's got some really good videos and I'm, I'm enjoying watching him work on his uh 69 c10 truck uh, he starts from scratch him and i are a lot alike only he he can do more things than i can but talk about a real nice guy to listen to and he explains things and why he does stuff anyway built on a budget anyway let me know what you think about pinachal and uh i don't know how long it will last but it'll last a pretty good while i guess i'm just Really impressed with the old truck. It's it's come a long, long way. So many things are, are new to the truck, and I'm just thinking that the American Racing 20-inch torque thrust wheels will look pretty good on it. But you know, like I said, here I am looking at it again. I'm thinking, well, dang, those wheels look pretty good. It's got the Corvette-style bands on it. You know, three-inch. They look pretty good, don't they? I don't know. I'm so wishy-washy when it comes to wheels but anyway thank you for watching guys check out all my friends that I mentioned to you and tell them that uh, Primer is best sent you uh, Jimmy my name is Jimmy don't forget I'm on Facebook Primer is best Instagram Primer is best I got a second YouTube channel uh, called man on a budget that is me I'm a man on a budget we do things on a budget it's took me a long it's took me years to get this truck to this shape, believe it or not. I guess I've had this truck three or four years, at least. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe to both my channels, Parameters Best and Man on a Budget. And I guess you can tell I'm getting tired. My throat's getting dry. It is hot out here. My goodness, that's why I'm standing in the shade. But, uh, Y'all have a blessed time. I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit more in the sun. Then I'm gonna go put it up in the garage and uh, I'll check it out another day with y'all and we'll see what it looks like. But I I'm pretty happy with the results. I mean, you know, just for no do at home in your driveway kind of deal. It it's it's good enough for me. You know, my my standards are my standards are pretty low anyway. So. Uh, Yeah. Okay, y'all have a blessed day today. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Jimmy, and I hope to hear from you soon. Please give me a thumbs up. It sure would help my channel. I try to show y'all everything that I'm doing, good and bad. But today, I just didn't have time to You get a sponge and you put it on. Anyway, pretty self-explanatory. But I've got lots of other videos on Penetrol if you're interested. Hey, God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. The Lord's made a beautiful day today, and I'm so glad to be done doing this for today and I'm, I haven't ate anything all day and I've drunk one bottle of water so I am getting kind of dry and I'm really tired so y'all have a blessed day by the way I'm 67 so I'm just glad to be able to get up and and do stuff like this y'all have a great day God bless y'all thank the Lord every day that you wake up to a new day that he has made and uh, be able to live and breathe and do things that you enjoy doing like messing with an old Chevy or GMC truck. God bless y'all. Catch you in the next one, guys. I'll see y'all later. Guys, I don't mean to make my videos long, but I just happen to remember. If you've been watching my second YouTube channel, Man on a Budget, uh, my wife and I, Mrs. P.I.B., went on a yard sale adventure. And uh, I run across this. This is a tag that I made myself. I bought this. Punched holes in it. Kind of, you know, sprayed painted 
uh, primer on it there a little bit, black, it's flat black. Bend it up a little bit to put on this truck. And the reason I got the got the International Harvester tag is because I have an International Harvester cap. But if you watch one of the videos on a on a budget, I uh, run across one of those tags, John Deere. And I thought, well, I'll grab it and stick it on here just to change it up a little bit. Y'all let me know what you think. You know, I, I really like this tag too. Uh, you know, it, it's a good tag. Uh, I don't know. Which one do you like better on here? I, I'm into patina style, so this one was perfect. I, I started to beat this one up. <laughs> I thought, well, I'll let it go like that for just a little while. It's naturally, uh, you know, made that way to look like it's old around the edges and whatnot and it kind of goes along with this here that i bought i don't even know where i got it but it's a little decal kind of goes along with john deere bill goat whatever <laughs> whatever that means it's the same color as john deere so i hadn't had the truck long i put that on and uh the got rust sticker on the back so i i don't know I'm a nut. I like it, but I do like to change things up every once in a while, I like the wheels and this, that, and the other. So, and don't forget to keep watching the video. At the end, I'll try to post a few pictures that goes along with this truck that will maybe help you to understand just how far the old truck has come. And uh, anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. Not trying to make my videos long. Some people say my videos are too long, and I understand. But uh, you know, I thought, well, if I don't show y'all. Uh, what I'm doing, you know, one of these days somebody else might want this truck and if they do they can see everything It's done to it Okay, God bless y'all. Thanks for watching guys and uh, y'all have a blessed day stay safe and I hope to see you in the next video I'll see y'all later